our praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekwa Kodash. Sorry, so like, excuse me. Today we want to go over chapter three. And, um, you know, because according to the scriptures, you know, the children of Israel went off and we started uh, worshiping other gods, you know, and, and, and idol worshiping. And, you know, the Most High uh, called us, you know, basically whores. You know, uh, he, he called the children of Israel, uh, 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 you know, said that we was, you know, going a horn after other guys. You know, and, you know, that's basically true, you know. So I wanted to read chapter three. And we'll just read down so we get some understanding of the scriptures. It says, then said the Lord unto me, go yet love a woman beloved of her friend. Yet yeah, an adulteress, according to the love of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, toward the children of Israel, who look it to other gods, and love flagons of wine. So I brought her to me for fifteen pieces of silver, and for a homer of barley, and a half homer of, of barley. And I said unto her, Thou shalt abide for me many days. Thou shalt not play the harlot, and thou shalt not be for another man. So will I also be for thee. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without an ephod, and without teraphim. Afterward shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, their God, power, and David, their king, and shall fear the Lord, Yahweh, and his goodness in the latter days. See that? So we went. Uh, uh, after other gods and that's what caused us to uh, that's what caused the curses to come upon the Israelites you know so this is why the Israelites um, are, are under the curses and are going through you know so, so much you know in their everyday life according to uh other nations, you know, here in the in the lands where they were scattered to. It says, um, let's jump down to four right here, chapter four. It says, Hearing the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God power in the land. Okay, so this is basically why a lot of us are here lost, you know. This is why the Most High say, you know, that we're in the Valley of Dry Bones. Because, you know, we don't have no, no knowledge or wisdom of the Most High Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, and our so-called leaders, pastors, uh, not teaching the 100% truth in these churches, you know. So... This is why we're going through what we go through. It's about by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. They break out and blood touches blood. See that? And that only happened to the to the Israelites. You know, we we out here killing each other. We out here stealing. We out here committing adultery. You know, it's, it's the children of Israel that's under these curses that's going through this. You know, it says, Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of the heaven. Yea, the fish, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yea, let no man strive, nor reprove another, for 
thy people or as they that strive with the priests. Therefore shall thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. See that? So it's the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, Latinos, we are the ones under the curses. So the most I saying, his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So this is why he allows so much death among us. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God power. I will also forget thy children. See that? So a lot of our children are being killed and the Most High is allowing it because we forgot him and we went a horn, as I was saying earlier, after other gods, you know, and the Most High not dealing with that. You know, he only dealing with his truth. You know, it says, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore, will I change their glory into shame? See that? So now we look at as as a as a as being a shame because it's like I say, you know, it's only the so-called is the, the I'm sorry, not so-called. It's only the Israelites, so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos that's going through uh uh th th through the death, you know. So our glory that we, we once had is turned into shame because we was, we once were not only slaves, but we were kings, you know, and, and you know, we were prince, priests and princes. So that our glory now is into shame. Now we're, we're looked at as just a people who, who've been enslaved here in Babylon and, and, and other lands that we, we, we're at. He said, they eat up the sin of my people and they set their heart on their iniquity. So how they eat up the sin of the Lord's people is by us not knowing the Lord. You see, so when we going against the Lord, you know, these other nations eat up, eat up our sin. I mean, if you think about it, just look around our neighborhoods and stuff. We see mostly other nations in our neighborhoods, so-called Arabs. You know, they're they're surrounded us in our neighborhoods. You know, and, and when you go in the stores, you see uh, everything that the, the so-called blacks uh, like for entertainment. It's, uh, you know, you go in these stores, you see you know uh, meth pipes, weed pipes. You know. Uh, T-shirts, hats, you know, th this stuff like, you know, these people don't wear this stuff like this in their country. So this is how these nations eat up the sin of the lost people. They say, and there shall be like, there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them their doings. See that? So the Most High is behind all of this. You know, by us not knowing him and, and not trying to seek him in these last days. It's for they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. You see that? So when we left off by taking heed to the Lord, the Most High, you know, he, like I say, we under the curses. And he allowing all this stuff to take place to his people. You know, a lot of us don't, you know, you try to bring the light to some of us, to some of the people. And, and you know, a lot of us don't want to hear the word. We don't want to hear this truth. So this is, you know, you reject the Lord. He said, you're going to reject you. You say, my people ask counsel at their stocks and their staff declared unto them. For the spirit of whoredom hath caused them to err. So the spirit 
you're not actually committing holding, but through the spirit you commit holding by following after other gods. And not the true living power, Yahweh. And his son Yahweh Shai, who the world calls um, Jesus. He say, and they have gone a horn from under their God. You see that? They sacrifice upon the tops of mountains and burn incense upon the hills under oaks and pop, pop, poplars and elms because the, the shadow thereof is good. Therefore, your daughters shall commit whoredom and your spouses shall commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom nor your spouses when they commit adultery for themselves are separated with whore, whores and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore, the people that do not understand shall fall. See that? So, well, it's not understanding and knowing the Lord. Uh, 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 we spiritually uh, commit whoredom. You know, going seeking out the idols. Okay. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. Remember to like the video. I'll be back with the next one, Lord willing. Peace.